these are the raw builds of the two Mustangs. This is the Revell kit, and this is the Tamiya kit. And I found it rather interesting that each of them has something in common yet opposite. Each of them, the front section of the aircraft, the nose section of the motor, has a cowling, a curved cowling piece instead of a seam line. But in the case of the Revell kit, that cowl piece goes on the bottom, and in the case of the Tamiya kit, a cowl piece goes on top, which I'll show in a photograph. Both of them also had something else in common. They had trouble getting the forward section of the fuselages to seal properly. You'll see later, I had to sand it down because of a little glue smear on my part, but on the Revell kit, the seam on top was very noticeable, just as the seam is pretty noticeable on the Tamiya kit, which perhaps I'm beginning to expect too much of Tamiya. I guess I just thought there would be a better fit on this bottom seam line. It actually looks worse in the picture than it is, but it didn't give the tight seal that you got across the rest of the model. The exact same thing for the Revell kit. Of course, it's nothing that the tiniest bit of putty and sanding won't take care of, but I think I'm be beginning to expect just a little too much from these kit makers. But both of the aircraft had good fits overall. Uh, as you'll see when we flip it over, the Tamiya kit did have actually more of a seam line issue on the top of the wing. The dihedral in the Revell kit was good and the seam was tight on top of the wing right off the bat, but the Tamiya kit, the wing didn't have quite as much dihedral. I had to bend it a little bit, flex it, and it still had a little bit of a gap. Again, nothing severe, just a tiny little bit of putty will finish it. So uh, we'll get into it in a little bit more detail. The Revell kit did a skosh better than I expected, and the Tamiya kit maybe just had one or two more issues than I expected. That being said, though, there's a lot to talk about with the Tamiya kit. For example, the options you have on different canopies, and also the antenna is separate, whereas with the Revell kit, the antenna was molded onto the fuselage. And although the Revell kit has a tail wheel that has to be inserted when you put the fuselage halves together, the Tamiya kit has a tail wheel which is not only a little more detailed, but it goes in after it's put together, which kind of simplifies things. And uh, we'll, we'll get into it more in a little bit, but both of them, are really really nice kits uh, i could i could recommend either one let me finish these up and uh we'll uh we'll get some pictures and and then get uh, a more thorough video done 